Welcome to the Cell Matrix Tutorial with Battery 3. This tutorial will give you some more information about working with the resizable matrix. The maximum of cells is 128, while the minimum is 16. You can add and delete rows or columns from the edit menu or with the little plus and minus buttons. Or by holding down the control key and using the up, down, left and right cursor keys. To see several crucial cell parameter values at a glance, Hold your mouse cursor anywhere over the cell. This is for informational purposes only. You cannot edit these parameters from this particular view. You can disable this function in the Options menu. Just go to the File menu. Click on Options and deselect Show Cell Hints. A click on the cell plays back its content. The name of the samples is written on the top of the cell. It can easily be renamed by right-clicking on the cell and selecting Rename Cell. This will automatically select the Cell View tab to do so. Each cell has a Mute and Solo button. This also works for multiple cells. Several cells can be selected by pressing the Shift or Control keys. In the lower right corner, each cell has a value edit, which shows the value of the last touch parameter. For example, if you edit the tune, the actual value will be displayed here. You can edit by holding down your mouse and moving it up or down. Now cells can be colored by right-clicking onto a cell and selecting Color. You can choose from 10 different colors. Of course, all the cell functions like Cut, Copy, Paste, Delete, or save are also accessible through the cell contacts menu. Additionally, you can easily access the brand new cell library as we learned in the tutorial before. Analog to the actions that can be performed on single cells, all operations can be performed on the selectors. For example, muting or selecting a complete row. An important part of the matrix is the ability to drag and drop cells to other places. A cell can be dragged and dropped to a different location within the matrix or the browser. Moving several cells at once maintains their positional relationship to each other. Moving a selection beyond the limits of the matrix wraps the content to the other side of the matrix. Moving a loaded cell onto another one swaps sources and destination. The cell maintains its parameters except key range and root key. Key range and root key will be set to the ones of the destination cell. Pressing the Alt key while dragging causes the cell to also maintain its key range and root key. Up to 128 samples can be loaded into the same cell. For example, you may want to use several samples to create more realistic drum dynamics. Suppose you have three kick drum hits, one played softly, the other at medium volume, and the third hit hard. Load them from the browser onto the same cell and switch to the mapping view. Mapping is the process of determining which samples are layered or velocity switched. Upon selecting the mapping tab, you will see the samples included in the cell. They show up as blocks with the sample name toward the top of the block. Clicking on the zone plays back the sample. Set up the velocities as follows. The soft hit, 1 to 80. The medium hit, 81 to 110. The hard hit, 111 to 127. Now your bass drum sounds like this when played soft, medium, and hard. The horizontal line indicates which velocity layer is being played at the moment. 
Sometimes, simply switching between samples provides a too abrupt transition. In this case, you can crossfade between samples for a smoother transition. We want the soft sample, on the left, to fade out as the middle sample fades in. Next, the middle sample to fade out, while the hard sample on the right fades in. Do this by adjusting the velocities. Now, where the drum zones overlap, you can manually add the crossfades. Or, simply right-click anywhere and select Set Velocity Crossfades. We hope you enjoy exploring how intuitive working with Battery 3 is.